Each week, doctoral candidates from Kiel are out in their test field of corn checking their plants. Gustav Agamissen is specialized in diseases of the leaf. He notes how strongly the eye spot disease has spread. We estimate the infestation, how serious it is. To do it, we examine individual leaves and then estimate what percentage of the leaf is infected. A short note on the pathogen. Here you can see the yellow spots quite clearly. In the middle, there's a blighted surface. Basically, that's dead leaf tissue. The more spots there are, the more danger the disease poses to the plant. Weather plays a big role in the spread of the fungus, so the team has set up measuring stations to keep tabs on temperature and wind conditions, as well as the amount of moisture on the leaves. They want to fight pests in a targeted way. Diseases are on the increase as plants like corn are cultivated more and more. Here we have a special disease, it's called Fusarium. This pathogen is an especially insidious fungus that turns the corn toxic, even carcinogenic, for humans and animals. Individual samples are tested in the lab and the DNA of the corn plant examined to check how seriously it's been infected. It'll take three years before researchers can say for sure which temperatures are ideal for the pests to develop and thrive. The long-term aim is to develop a model for farmers, but that will require many elaborate studies. You begin by documenting epidemics. Those are the biological parameters. In parallel, you naturally measure the framework parameters, the weather conditions that drive the whole phenomenon. The scientists have already developed predictive models for wheat and sugar beets, they could one day be used worldwide. But that's easier said than done. We're talking about regions in the world where we don't have this know-how, the infrastructure and training that we have here in the industrialized world. In certain farming areas, they even have problems finding the funds to buy pesticides in order to intervene in an infestation. The researcher's model is already helping farmer Philip Münkemeyer with his wheat. With wheat, pathogens like powdery mildew and septoria really make things difficult for us in spring. But luckily there are ways of fighting them. Münkemeyer can call up the university's website to see how plant pests and weather have developed in his region, when he should use pesticides, and to calculate exactly how much he needs to spray. We're using significantly fewer pesticides now. It allows me to save on fungicide, and I only need to go out if there's an infection. The farmer says he stopped large-scale preventive spraying, and that he no longer worries that could endanger his harvest. It's a win-win for everyone. The farmer, the consumer, and the environment.